hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to zoom within adobe premiere pro let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in adobe premiere pro i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow with the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to zoom in within adobe premiere pro is kind of easy all I have to do once you've opened the Adobe Premiere Pro app, I want you to click the uh, part of the vi video that you wanted to zoom in. For example, in this case, I'm going to scrub this and I want to zoom in at this part. I wanted to zoom in this specific um, area. All right. So what you need to do is click this, the video, not the photo, right? You will be forwarded to the effects control. The effects control is the editing part of your elements now under motion right here you might want to go to the anchor point all right so once the video is selected click the anchor point what will happen is there will be would be something like a circle in the center that is going to be the anchor point all right now i want you to click the anchor point and position that to the area you wanted to zoom in for example this uh video because the other one is a photo all right and then now, the next thing is, I want you to go to the right side part of your dashboard right here. It's going to be in the minute timeline. So, this is going to be in the main timeline and the sub timeline. We're in, we can create a mini effect for our video, which is going to be the zooming in effect. So, I want you to scrub this slider or the playhead where you want to zoom in the clip. So, probably in this case, and then I want you to click the stopwatch or the toggle animation. If I click on the scale, you see there's going to be an anchor point. So we have a separate video discussing how to use anchor points that you might want to check. This is um, in combination with using the zoom in effect. All right. And then scrub it, scrub the playhead where you want to zoom in the video, probably here. Now I'm going to... If you increase the zoom effect right here, right, you see that? What will happen is it added a new keyframe. Did, did you see it? So I'm gonna do it. You see, the keyframe wasn't added, but by the time we increase the scale and in zooming in it, in there was a keyframe added. All right. Again, the keyframe was automatically added. Now, if we scrub the playhead from all the way from the start we will be having an effect called zoom in just wait for it takes a little while from this keyframe right here hold your breath you see that slowly and gradually you have created the zoom effect all right amazing isn't it now zooming in on the uh here creates a uh, very uh, subtle transitions zooming in allows you to make precise cuts or adjustments to the video or audio all right of course you can get a clearer look at the details of the clip which is kind of useful when refining color grading effects or visual compositions i do this a lot all right because when animating effects like position scale opacity or color changes over time zooming in allows you to place keyframes with greater accuracy and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.